Hello everyone, today I will show you very useful videos for absolutely everyone. I will show you how to speed up absolutely any application. That is, it often happens that the phone seems to be powerful, the processor seems to be able to pull it out, and the graphics processor seems to be working well, but what's the point? There are such applications, well, it slows down and that's it, nothing can be done about it. The rest work fine, but one of them that you use, well, it's somehow slow, sluggish, something opens poorly there, sometimes it glitches. And you need to do something about this. Or it happens that you play some online games or just downloaded some game and it really lags, slows down, glitches. In general, you are not happy with how it works. Now I will show you a clever trick on how to make some applications work very, very well. Be sure to support the video with a like, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. So, for this you need to use the usual standard settings. Here, go in, then look for information about the phone or information about the phone. Go in, look for your firmware version. It can also be called the build number. Quickly click 5 to 7 times. Here it told me that I don't need it, you are already a developer. It will tell you the first time you go in, congratulations, you have become a developer. Then go back. Look for advanced settings. Here, if you can't find it, just look in the usual standard settings or in the section. Click. And at the very bottom we have a line for developers. Click. Now look. Here we scroll through and find this tricky setting that few people use, but it really helps. These are the graphics driver settings, that is, what is mainly responsible for rendering graphics, and not only. That is, so that some interface or visualization of any application is shown. Next you will have a list of absolutely all applications that are on your smartphone. Here you just need to select some applications that are really slow. By default, if you, for example, go here, there will be a default mode. You just need to reinstall them on the system graphics driver like this. That is, here are those applications that, for example, were slowing down for me, I made them on the system graphics driver, reinstalled them, and they stopped slowing down. There is absolutely no point in changing everything here. It is only selective here. That is, if your application works fine, without this, then you don't need to touch or change anything. But if the application is really glitchy, we change it to the system graphics driver, and it will work much, much faster and without glitches. 